Oh, good morning. Wow. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. So I uh, back with her new car. Oh, there she is. Ah. What are you saying? Oh, I was back with a new car. Oh, yeah. And Silas hasn't seen it yet. We all know Silas and cars. Are you ready, bud? You, me. you excited to get in there? You got it? There you go, bud. Oh, the oh, new knobs. Hey. Don't mess oh. with my lumbar support. Wow. Hey, bud, why don't you get in back? This is where Sai Sai sits. Oh, oh wait, is... can you open it yourself? <gasps> oh. You can open the back door by yourself. Yeah. You can do that in the, our, the Armada, it, his, the handle for his door is up here, so he couldn't reach it. So he couldn't get in by himself. So he would always climb in through the front. His dirty boots would always leave marks. And he's got the side steps, so he can get in all by himself there. It's actually got more trunk space than the server. Look at that trunk space. Mm -hmm. We're going to buy so many groceries. Ooh. All the grocery meat, yes. Oh, sorry. What? Well, it, in my defense, you kind of walked into it. Yeah. Okay. Should we open up the back? Yeah, we should. This car is massive. Oh my gosh, my eyes. I want to see. Oh, ah, that's oh she's squeaky. Look at that. Squeaky. Look at all that space. Can Trixie make it in? Yeah. <gasps> she can make it in. She, step to get in. she fell trying to get in the Suburban yesterday, or whatever day it was. Look at that. I think that step was game changing. I think it was too. Here, show them the step. <laughs> nice. Yeah, okay. Good job, babe. These license plates will be gone. They're not, they're not ours. <laughs> I can't take you seriously with your hair. Another, another vehicle. I did. Yeah, it's mostly yes, mostly that. Great. Even better. Yeah, let's let's close it. All right. Bye. So why would we get this car? So these engines. This is the for those of you that don't know. This is the like early 2000s diesel engines this is the 7.3 liter diesel these engines are beastly and it is hard to find them and they are just they're they're awesome my uncle my, my dad actually bought an f-250 with the same engine and then ended up selling it to my uncle my uncle still has a truck it's got close to 400,000 miles on it and it's just it's still a beast yeah and then my dad has an excursion that has the smaller engine, the 6.0. <laughs> so, we've got the big one. <laughs> yep. And with the amount of times we're hauling a trailer to like pick up stuff because we don't have a pickup truck yet, um, it just, we need something bigger with the size of our family, with the amount of animals that we have. If we ever go on a road trip with dogs, like, which is very feasible. Um, speaking of which, okay, she's right there. Thought I lost puppy. Uh, yeah, we're just a big vehicle family and we are so excited to welcome Big Blue to the fam. Big blue one car. <laughs> Big blue one car, as Silas would call it. And now, what are we gonna do? Oh, one more thing. Oh, dang it. I was driving this up Raton Pass, which was a very steep incline, and I was going about 80, and I stepped on it to get it up to 90, and it was like nothing. It was just like, okay. Because it has a turbo. It is beastly. Very beastly. I, you probably shouldn't admit that you purposely pushed it to 90, though. That was the speed limit. You were, you were driving Raton Pass, not Autobahn. I mean, I was going 70 and I stepped on it to go to 80. Because 80 was the speed. We're gonna, go get some, we're gonna go get some coffee. Load up the, load up the doggos. Kids. Holy that's smokes. That's a big pipe. She hefty. Oh, that's not just the tip, that's the whole pipe. Oh that's my a, gosh. That's a big one. I don't know if that's stock for a <laughs> diesel. I don't think so. Oh, could be cool. You're a police okay. officer? And you're gonna be the bad guy. Is she the bandit? Oh, Dad, you have to be in jail, Dad. No, I'm a good guy. Yeah. Hey, guys. Yeah? Who wants to go get some coffee or something? Me! Me! That's my shirt. Look at all that flag room for you. We should, do you want to take pictures? Yeah. Oh, see his body's tail just flapping around. <laughs> so I don't know if we told you, but we just decided we're gonna go grab some coffee. And donuts. No one said anything about that. No, no donuts. Okay. We can 
so irritated when the girls mention candy or like super. What have you done? Oh, you want to see something cool? Huh? 16.8 miles per gallon. That's really good. That's better than my Armada. Yeah. That was like, what, 13? Yeah. At, at best, 13.1. Someone mentioned donuts and now he doesn't think he wants that. Okay, bud. You're done. No more. Nice. So, we were gonna go get Starbs, but the line is obscene. So now we are at Night Lights Donuts and Coffee. I guess we might end up getting to anyways. We gotta get donuts! What a nice diesel engine owner. Turn your car off. <laughs> Silas, we didn't got for you. No, I did want chocolate. Daddy got you chocolate. Silas, you got for me. He doesn't get forgotten. He says got for. Mm, oh, I forgot to get oat milk. Oh, so did I. That's fine. Oh, that's not fine for you. <laughs> I look so sad missing a nail. Um, I went for a chai with a double ad shot this time because someone's being extra and wanting everyone to smell his feet. I got four Surprisingly, not Elias. <laughs> I want an oatmeal drink. You got four oatmeal drink? Yeah. I probably tr almost said this before I ended the last clip. Silas doesn't say four got. He says got four. And it's my favorite and I hope it never changes and I hope he is he's in college. Or trade school. We'll support either. Saying, I got for my book. No, I didn't go for my book. <laughs> I just go for my oatmeal oh. drink. Oh, okay. My oatmeal drink. Did you get for your homework? No, my oatmeal drink, Dad. Let's talk about this packaging, or this branding, though. I love their branding. So clean. So simple, it's just freaking classic, with a donut in the light bulb. Yeah, they're little uh, napkins. So cute. Elias and I have this thing about brands and logos. They have to be immediately recognizable and they have to look good on a hat. Or like, a pocket. That is immediately recognizable and will look adorable on a hat. I would wear that hat. Also, they're not donuts. They're cronuts. Look at that. Cronuts. We're gonna regret giving him sugar. You give me my candy and Your face. He wants kinetic sand. Oh, not on your arm. Napkin, please. Boop. All right, well, <laughs> I think we've decided today we are going to plant some seeds. Um, you wanna plant some seeds? Where are you? There you are. Do you want to plant some seeds? We really want to get our garden started, um, so we got to get this going. We are going to be doing uh, a gardening method that I saw on this documentary called Back to Eden. I think Back to Eden. Fascinating, fascinating documentary. Um, this guy never waters his garden. Like, I'm not going to over explain all of it. It's definitely worth watching, um, especially if you're a believer. It's like he, he does some really cool ties with gardening and the Lord and our faith and I was like this is cool so I got jazzed about it super jazzed so basically want to get the seeds started and then we need to get mulch oh come on bun we need to get some mulch um, and I would like to get a new topsoil just a couple inches of it because what we have is like clay like a like a thick clay um, which technically I think we still can plant in but I don't know you wanna go outside? Uh, so now, we, I've kind of been a little hesitant to, hello, um, to figure out <laughs> where we're actually gonna physically put the garden. Oh, my battery. Um, the plan was to have it here, but based on the sun's pattern, I mean, like if we're in, in March, it might shift a little bit, but I'm worried that we wouldn't get enough full sun here when this tree fills out. So the plan was to have it here, but we might have to move it out here for all of those items that need full sun. I don't know.
I'm excited to change. And now we're rocking. Jan, see the label? It is a very windy day here. Unfortunately, because of the frost, we lost the pomegranate tree and the peach tree. We will be replacing them ideally, but because we have, what fun? Okay, we got a tangelo tree and what is the other one that we got? I don't know, we got two fruit trees, so we're just basically just gonna plop them right in the holes where the, oh, you got your shovel, good job, where the other trees just were. a lot less cute than this view. Huh. That's pretty squishy. No, it's fine, honey. You can move. We let the goats out. Of course, Lola's being loner Lola over there. Um, and as you just saw in the last clip, we got the two, and that's not a pomelo, that's definitely a tangerine tree. And now we are gonna head to a local nursery. We lost two, obviously, we lost two trees, but we wanna get uh, four more. <laughs> Because we want to have a little orchard over here. I think it'll be really fun. It'll be really sweet. We're also planning on picking up some mulch. We do still need some topsoil. I hope this audio is not garbage. We do still need some topsoil. Um, but the only thing that they sell there is sandy loam. So um, I'm not quite sure if that's something that I want to pick up, to be honest. <laughs> uh, we got to hook up the trailer to be able to do that. This is just awesome. Goats are out grazing, the chickens were, they were out for a minute and then they went back in. We want them to free range, but for some reason, they're like, nah, we're good. Which, um, you know, with six more chicks inside, they're gonna need to start spreading out a little bit. It's a lot of chicks. <laughs> we have 18 chickens and a rooster, what? Okay, so we're at the greenhouse and y'all know I hate vlogging public. <laughs> so much. Um, but we're gonna get some of the mulch from here and I really wanna check out their topsoil. They said all they had here is, I'm sorry, it's so windy. All they have here is sandy loam, so I wanna test the consistency of it and see if that's something that we wanna use or if we need to get our topsoil from somewhere else. So, um, good news, they do have organic compost because we wanna make this as organic as possible. So this is what we're looking for. We want this mulch. So it's got tiny pieces, big pieces, um, and everything in between as opposed to some of the other ones that have consistently the same size and shape. So I think we're definitely gonna get this. Yeah? Is it so cool? Yeah! <laughs> it has a really big bucket, huh? Could Sai Sai fit in there? Yeah? <laughs> What's he doing, dude? <laughs> What's he doing? He like can't even, he can't even process this right now. <laughs> I are back with the mulch, but now I need to help him back, back the trailer up. We're gonna dump the mulch right here. Um, and when we get a topsoil, we'll lay that out and then put that on top of it. I think that's our current game plan. Just kidding, we're not pulling it out. I thought the tarp was bigger than it was. <laughs> well, I was like, no, we have to shovel all of it out. Oh, <laughs> so we're not, we're not moving the mulch today. <laughs> and I might do a little bit more research and see if we have to have the topsoil. But back to Eden, they didn't necessarily, like one of the people added it, but I don't, I just don't know. I don't wanna have to spend more money but we obviously would love to have a good harvest. So, yeah, I'm not sure yet. Um, so we just got done going through all the seeds we have and just writing down their names. Looking at doing seeds, doing writing things down like cauliflower, going through all of them and putting them in their sort so we can get ready to plant. Yeah, I know. I don't know if we'll have enough time to sow all of these. I have podcast recording a little bit. I know. 
<laughs> Gotta do work. That's your own foot. Sang Elias, how beautiful. Actually, the mulch makes it look so clean and tidy. I love this brown against the green. It's a very good color combination. Good job, ladies. Don't touch it. Touch, touch, touch. Stop it. Touch, 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 touch. Gosh. So it would have been such a sweet clip. <laughs> and then all of you happened. Actually, you are fine. Stop it. Don't, you're packing it the wrong way. Oh, there's cookies. <laughs> now it's time to head on in, get ready for some podcasting. We are interviewing a couple people today. And to be honest, I don't I don't know who we're interviewing yet. So I have to review. And interviews start in 20 minutes. You're never gonna know which interviews these are though, because <laughs> I'm so good. Right before I start filming, she grabs her hog toy. Podcast recording is over. <laughs> what are you doing, Bon? Wow. What a vision. It's very windy outside, so uh, tomorrow's trash day. So he, our trash can is blown over, like twice. So he's going up there to get it because we're worried trash is just blowing all over our neighbor's yard. Podcast recording was great. Uh, ended up taking more like four hours instead of three. It was good. We tended to group our solo podcasts and then our interviews on the same recording days. So sometimes after doing three interviews, like it's just, sometimes they're tiring. They, in the, the best way, cause you're enjoying yourself, but you're also on the whole time. So um, got out of the podcasting, <laughs> ended up chatting with Heather for close to an hour afterwards, just working on business stuff. And then Elias ordered pizza, as he does when it's like daddy night. He, he just smacks that easy button and just figures out something that's nice and simple to get the job done <laughs> for dinner. <sighs> and then we watched the YouTube original Dude Perfect documentary, like behind the scenes backstage pass of their Pound It Noggin tour of 2019. I, too much information, I'm aware. They're so inspiring. They're so inspiring. I'm like, I just want to create all the content. I want to make it all. I want to make it all. I like, I just, that's so cool. If you don't watch Dude Perfect, if you don't know who they are, then uh, they're just a YouTube channel, five dudes with 55 million subscribers, some sort of insane amount like that. And then I realized that during my podcasting, during the interviews, Elias put together a package that I got today and I have no more excuses. Hey, at least it's not the hog. <laughs> you ready for this? So while Elias does his stretches, I got a foldable bike. And you guys, how would you keep pouring food out of there? I don't understand. They keep like getting food out, okay. This is my new bike. I've literally used it for two and a half minutes. My legs already hurt. I have no idea if it's gonna be any good at all whatsoever, but I also heard that you can watch Peloton instructors. I mean, we're not buying a Peloton. <laughs> I'm not spending that kind of money on an exercise bike. However, if I can watch the instructors and get the same kind of experience, I'm gonna do that, maybe. It's kinda nice, cause I can just camp it here and watch TV if I want to. I just feel like because I've been trying to, we should probably just do a whole video about like what I'm trying to do nutrition wise, but because I'm trying to eat more often and be more active and conscious of what I'm eating and when I'm eating it and um, how that affects fertility and I've put on more weight, I'm okay with it. I'm not, I'm not uh, super frustrated by it. It is a little uncomfortable sometimes in some high-waisted jeans, but I'm like, but that's not. <laughs> I unbutton them a lot more often these days. That's okay. 
but also I'm not very physically active and I think about what I want my life to look like moving forward and I want to be around for a really, really, really long time. I want to be making these videos for a really, really long time. I want to be annoying the heck out of my children for a very, very long time. So I think that perhaps maybe being a little bit more physically active would be super conducive to that living long stuff. That was the intent behind this bike. It's not to get yoked. It's not to shred for summer, although I wouldn't be mad if any of those things happened. It's just, I'm out of excuses. And it needs to happen. That's all. It's not some big dramatic change in my life, because I'm gonna be honest, I, I, don't, I don't know if this is going to be a big dramatic change. But it's something worth trying. And if it means that I'm spending less than 200 bucks on an exercise bike that will collect dust in the next eight months, well then, that's the choice I have to live with. <laughs> So if this thing it turns out to be any good at all whatsoever, I will, of course, let you guys know. But we gotta test it out first. I don't wanna test it out. Maybe I don't wanna live forever. I just don't wanna ride a bike. And here's the part where I have to document me actually using the bike. That'd be the shortest time lapse ever. <laughs> I'm not, gonna, not even gonna time lapse. I'm not even going to time-lapse it. <laughs> get ready for the one and only time Jamie uses it. I know. Got to get my $140 worth. So $200 worth. Let's see if Jamie beats me. I, I did 23 miles, roughly. No, you did not. Yeah, I did 9 kilometers, which equals 23 miles. No. It's science. No. Just kidding, it's math. <laughs> I thought I could still make you laugh, We still got it, babe. Cue the time lapse. I did. I did 10k. So Elias can take his 9k and basically delete it because I went a full extra kilometer. Those, those are toe beans. Literally the world's longest tail on a puppy. So now it's the part in the night where I pick her up, scoop her up, put her in her crate. She's doing a lot better. She still gets a little whiny about it, which I understand. It's, that thing could be a little rough. That felt a little dramatic to me, but okay. Pound it. Noggin. See ya. <laughs> Darling, you. 